Okay. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, touch screen technology. Whenever we uh, go to buy mobile phones these days, uh, we hear a lot of people asking about touch screen mobile phones. But what is the thing to look at and how do you choose a touch screen mobile phone? We're going to lo look at the touch screen technology in this particular video. Uh, there are a number of touch screen mobile phones in the market uh, today like iPhone, like HTC Touch, like uh, Nokia N97 uh, and a number of others. But how do you choose a mobile phone with the correct touch screen technology which is the best kind of. Of course if you are spending uh, some amount of money you would want the best touch screen mobile phone. Uh, touch screen mobile phone technology is basically categorized into three types. One is a resistive uh, system, the second is capacitive system and the third is surface acoustic wave system. And the two systems that are primarily used in mobile phones are the resistive and the capacitive. Now what do you mean by these two terms? Uh, a resistive system is a system in which uh, there are two layers on the glass panel of the monitor of a mobile phone. Uh, the two layers are a conductive and a resistive metallic layer. These two layers are uh, separated by uh, spacers and a scratch resistant layer runs over the top of this entire setup. Uh, electric current uh, runs between these two layers when the mobile phone is on. So when a person, a user, uh, touches the touch screen, uh, these, these two uh, layers come in contact with each other. So whenever they come in contact with each other, the operating system of the mobile phone detects this and uh, then calculates the point of contact and accordingly the touch screen driver uh, is called into the picture and then it helps the mobile phone to respond to that particular touch from the user. The second uh, type of touch screen system is the capacitive touch screen system in which there is a layer that stores the electrical charge on top of the glass panel. So there, there are no two layers here, there are only a single layer which stores the electrical charge. So whenever a user touches that particular layer or the touch screen from that mobile phone, uh, some amount of charge is passed on to the user's finger or user's body and the charge in that particular space where the user has touched is reduced on that touch screen interface. So now the difference between the charge on the remaining parts of the touch screen and the, the point where the user has touched touch is calculated by the touch screen driver and accordingly it helps the touch screen system along with the operating system that is on the uh, mobile phone to react to that touch screen. Uh, preferably according to technical people or according to a lot of uh, books, a uh, capacitive touch screen is much better than a resistive touch screen. A capacitive touch screen is one in which there is only one layer which uh, stores the electrical charge and a resistive touch screen is uh, the one in which there are two layers separated by a spacer, a uh, spacer in which there is an electrical charge that runs between these two layers and when you touch these two layers you come into contact with each other. That's the resistive system. But the capacitive system has a single layer. Uh, which has an electrical charge. That is better. Why? Because it is uh, said the technology is such uh, it uh, allows or it throws light or it accepts light and reflects 90% of the light that is that is coming onto the surface, the capacitive touch screen that is. Whereas a, a resistive touch screen interface only reflects about or uh, gives you in return when a light comes onto the surface reflects about only 75% so that's about like 15% less. So the picture on a or images on a capacitive touch screen interface are much clearer than in a resistive touch screen interface. An example example of a resistive uh, touch screen interface would be a Nokia N97 uh, and a 
an example of a capacitive touchscreen interface, mobile phone would be an iPhone, uh, iPhone 3G, whichever model, basically iPhone models. Um, so whenever you go, and uh, your touch screen is one of the highest criteria of choosing a particular mobile phone, uh, I would prefer you go towards the um, iPhone and HTC Touch mobile phones rather than the Nokia N97 because these phones have a much better uh, touch screen as they have the capacitive touch screen system than the Nokia N97 which has a resistive touch screen system. Uh, one more thing about the iPhone is that whenever we go and talk about the iPhone and try to purchase the iPhone, we hear this term called multi-touch screen interface. Now what is a multi-touch screen interface? Does it have multiple layers when it sensors, uh, with sensors in it when you touch that screen and it, uh, it reacts according to the pressure, uh, the amount of pressure that you put on it? Uh, that will keep, uh, that discussion will keep for a later, uh, later date, uh, some other time. Uh, so that's about it. So I hope this was informative to all you people and may help you in choosing your correct touchscreen mobile phone. Uh, thank you for hearing. Until next time, goodbye.